بوهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وعملا متقبلا يا اكرم الاكرم Oh Allah, teach us all, benefit us, increase us in knowledge, in good morals, and in good deeds, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alim al-rahim. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alim al-rahim. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alim al-rahim. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alim al-rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So we continue by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings in explaining the pronouns in the Arabic language of Dhamair. Explaining of Dhamair. So we alhamdulillah finished the main, we made a, a whole review of the whole pronouns. We have only two types of pronouns left. We have two types of pronouns. I want to cover them and then we can start the examples, inshallah, and the, the homework. So, who can remind me and remind us of the main, of the two main types of pronouns? The two main types of pronouns are. Well, uh, um, that kind of thing. And um, these are the two main types of pronouns. No, no, you got you got the um, what you're saying. Ism is it Ismul Ishara? Huh? And Ismul and the no, who are whom I yeah, no, Ismul Ishara is pronoun. Ismul Ishara is pronoun. Ismul Ishara is. I, I, I try to the categories of what a pronoun is. Hmm. <laughs> we said Dhamair in Lugal Arabia, Dhamair. Zahir wa mustatir, oh. right? Apparent and hidden, right? And we said in English also we have apparent pronouns and hidden pronouns, right? Right? In English, for example, when you say thank you, it means I thank you. So I is hidden, right? It's the fa'il, is the subject. Same thing in Arabic. Zahir and mustatir. And we said mustatir, two types, wujuban and jawazan. The mustatir wujuban means you have to hide it, which is anta, anti, antum, antuma, antuna, which is the addressee, okay? For example, I say kul means eat. If I want to command you, I say eat. I don't, I don't say kul anta, eat you or you eat, just I say eat, right? Uh, unless you want to emphasize maybe. And jawazan, when the pronoun is the third person, huwa, hiya, huma, right? So jaa ahmad. If I want to say, so I don't have to say jaa huwa ahmad, right? I just say jaa ahmad, means he came, ahmad came, right? Uh, so that is that is mustatir jawazan mustatir jawazan it doesn't have to doesn't have to be hidden okay one of the scholars he mentioned when he talks about al-dhamir al-mustatir he says the dhamir is you have to hide it when he said, Al Murad Biwajib is to tell Malaya Hillu Mahaluhu or Mahal Malaya Hillu Mahalahu of Wahiru means an Esm cannot replace it. Laya Hillu Mahaluhu, the Asma of Wahir, Laya Hillu Mahalahu, the Asma of Wahir. For example, if I say October Ders. Write the lesson. Write the lesson. Means you write the lesson, right? Now, can I replace you with any ism? Like Uktub Ahmad al-Dars or Uktub Muhammad al-Dars. It doesn't work because I'm addressing you, right? 
I'm addressing you. That's why we have to hide the fa'il here or the, the pronoun, which is anta, right? So I cannot replace it with an ism, a normal ism, an apparent ism, a, a zahir is a proper noun, if you like, a proper noun or an ism of something. Same thing we say, for example, naktubu darsa. Naktubu means we, naktubu darsa. Where is the fa'il in naktubu darsa? It's implied in the noon. Nahnu, right? Naktubu, you remember we mentioned this last time? The noon in, indicates the fa'il, but it's not the fa'il, huh? The noon in naktubu, it indicates the fa'il, but it's not the fa'il, right? Look here. Nektubu. Nektubu. This noon, it indicates the file, but it's not the file, right? It's not the file. Nektubu darsa. Now, so where is the file then? Mustatir. Also wujuban. Mustatir wujuban. Nahnu. So the ma'il mutakallim, the speaker. And the address C, those are the pronouns you have to hide, right? You have to hide when they are uh, fa'il or na'ib fa'il. Not always you, when they are fa'il or na'ib fa'il, you have to hide them. How do we know? This sheikh is giving you an, uh, a way to know. I already mentioned the speaker pronouns and the addressee pronouns, when they are fa'il or na'ib fa'il, you drop them. You have to hide them. Otherwise, it's permissible to hide them in Arabic. So naktubu, you cannot say naktubu al-awladu darsa No, because you're talking about yourself. You cannot say taktubu Muhammad al-darsa because you're talking about an addressee whose name is not Muhammad, right? Whose name is not Muhammad. Even if its name is Muhammad or his name is Muhammad, it doesn't work. Taktubu Muhammad al-Darsa. Okay? Okay. Well, Muradu bijaiz al-Istitar ma yahillu mahallahu al-Zahir. It's permissible to hide when an ism can replace it. Okay? For example, we say yaktubu al-Darsa. Listen, huh? For example, yaktubu ad-darsa. Where is the fa'il? The ya. Well, the ya indicates that. The ya indicates it. What is it? Huwa. Yaktubu huwa ad-darsa. Right? Now, can I replace yaktubu with a noun? Can I say yaktubu ahmadu ad-darsa? Of course. Yeah. That is why huwa here. ضمير مستتر جوازا جوازا not وجوبا جوازا means like permissibly like it's permissible to hide it you don't have to is that clear so when you can replace it with the and and the result of this is when the pronoun is the speaker or the addressee okay إذن ما ضمائر ضمائر المتكلم أو المخاطب يجب يجب ماذا؟ استتار يجب استتار أو let's say make it easier يجب أن يكون الضمير let's say ضمائر المتكلم أو المخاطب يجب أن تكون يجب أن تكون مستترة إن كانت فاعل إن كانت فاعلا أو نائبة فاعل أما ضمائر أما ضمائر الغائب the third person singular ضمائر غائب فيجوز ها فيجوز نط يجب يجوز أن تكون مستترة 
clear? Yeah. So let's come back to the main picture. So ضمائر either ظاهر or مستتر. The مستتر we said جوازا permissibly, وجوبا necessarily. وجوبا we said it if it is أنا speaker نحن speaker, right? أنت the addressee, أنت أنتي etc. And we said it should be فاعل or نائب فاعل. When the pronoun is فاعل or نائب فاعل and it is the speaker or the addressee, then you have to hide it. Okay, and you can read these examples. I send you the file. This is a quick review. Jawazan, if the pronoun is huwa or hiya. Huwa or hiya or huma, etc. فَيَكُونُ الْفَاعِلْ فِي الْمَعْنَى مَذْكُورًا قَبْلَ الْفِعْلِ Okay. Then, ظاهر pronouns. الظاهر pronouns. The apparent pronouns. The apparent pronouns, we said also two types. منفصل. Disconnected, separated, and متصل, connected. Do we have in English connected pronouns? Do we have connected pronouns in English? No. We don't. We only have disconnected pronouns. I, you, him, her, his, yours, etc. Mm -hmm. Hers, all these are connected pronouns, uh, disconnected pronouns. Mm -hmm. So, in Arabic, we have disconnected pronouns and connected pronouns. The connected pronouns, of course, they come like suffix, they call it suffix at the end of the words or verbs, right? Yeah. Only at the end, not in the middle and not in the beginning. Not in the middle, not in the beginning. Always at the end of the words, whether, whether, whether ism or fail or half. In Arabic, al-dhamir, the dhamair, the pronouns can connect to an ism or a fail or a half. Tamam? Let's come to the monfasil first before the connected ones. The monfasil, we said we have dhamair rafa, ana anta anti antuma antum antunna huwa hiya huma hum hunna. And the ma'ib nasab, iyaya, iyana, iyaka, iyaki, iyakuma, iyakum, iyakunna, iyahu, iyaha, iyahuma, iyahum, iyahunna. Those are the ma'ib nasab all the time, and those are the ma'ib rafa all the time. What's left? The ma'ib al mutasila, the connected pronouns. Connected pronouns, we said some of them always in the position of rafa'a. Always. What are they? تاء الفاعل تاء الفاعل أكلت 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 تاء الفاعل المتحركة ألف الاثنين واو الجماعة ياء المخاطبة ياء المؤنثة المخاطبة ونون النسوة Those pronouns always in the position of رفع Always in the position of رفع Okay, they come only in the position of رفع. And they connect, you can write down this, they connect, they connect only to the أفعال. They connect only to the أفعال. The رفع pronouns only connect to أفعال. Yeah. Or, or, إن and أخواتها أم كان and أخواتها إن and أخواتها no sorry not إن sorry كان كان and أخواتها كان and its sisters we did not study كان and its sisters we'll study them إن شاء الله later كان and its sisters so they fall as the ism of Kana, which is like the Mubtada. So, Bama'ir, these Bama'ir, they're always Rafa. 
So you can say wa nay tu wa nay tu or someone put them in another uh, tawanina. Okay, so tawanina, if you remember this word tawanina, tawanina, these are the ma'ir al rafa. Ta, you see it here? Ta, ta al fa'il. Ta is ta al fa'il. Where is it? Here. Ta is ta al fa'il. Okay? Ta is ta al fa'il. Ta tu ti. When you say ta al fa'il, it's mutaharika. It could be ta tu ti. Akal ta, akal tu, akal ti. Akal tu ma, akal tum, etc. Ta al fa'il. Wow, al jama'a akalu. And and also also by the way, also that connects to particularly fa'al madi, right? Fa'al madi, fa'al madi, and sometimes fa'al mudari with some of them, with some of them. For example, ta'al ta'al fa'al mutahharika always with fa'al madi. Okay, when we say ta'kulu ta'kulin, that's not ta'al fa'al. That indicates the file, but it's not the file. Tama? Akala yakulan. Akala and yakulan. Alif al ethnin, it connects with both. We'll come to that when we when we study the conjugations of the verbs, you will see how they all work. But ta al fa'il mutahadika always with fa'al madi, only. Only with fa'al madi. Yani not with fa'al mudari. And of course, we said with. Ism of Kana and its sisters. Alif al Ithnain can connect with, with both. Uh, now, Alif al Ithnain can come with the Fa'al Madi or Mudari or Amr. We say, for example, Kula, that's Amr. Uh, Akala, that's Madi. Yakulani, that's Mubarak. Akalu, Kulu, Yakulun, same thing. Kuli, Takulin. Ya al Mukhataba, it connects with Madi, not Madi. In the Madi, you say uh, Akalti. In the Mubarak, Takulin. In the Amr, Kuli. So it comes with mudari and amr. Noon in niswa, akalna, madi. Kulna, amr, yakulna, mudari. So with all of them. Okay. So tawanina, the ta, the waw, the alif, alif al the noon, noon in niswa, and the ya, ya al muannath al mukhataba. And what about the na? This na is not dal al al fa'ilin. This here, it's here. They. They put it here because this na could come in the position of rafa' or nasab or jar. It depends on the sentence. Tamam? Na addalla ala al fa'ilin. Akalna. Sharibna. Atayna. And it connects with the fa'al madi. Because in the mudara we say na'kulu, nashrabu. In the, in the amr, it doesn't come to the um, in the Amr, right? Because you don't command yourself, right? Uh, so, what's the word that that combines all of the Dama'ir Rafa'? Dama'ir Rafa'? What is it? Tawanina. Tawanina. Ta. Ta al fa'il. Wow, al jama'a. Alif al ithnain. Ta of the doer, wow of the plural, alif of the dual, noon of the women, ya of the female addressee, na of the doers. Mashi, clear? Now, what everyone, the position of everyone, they'll be in the position of fa'il, okay, fa'il, when, when they are connected with the fa'il, they will be the fa'il. Why or naib fa'il? Because the, they are in the position of rafa. What is marfur? The fa'il or naib fa'il? So when they connect to the fa'il, they must be fa'il or naib fa'il. 
when they connect to kana, they come in the sentence of kana, they'll be the ism of kana. The ism of kana. And the ism of kana also marfur. Okay, the ism of kana also marfur. Like, kunt, you don't have to know this now, but we're going to mention it now and later when we study kana and its sisters. For example, we say kunta, kana and its sister kana, or uh, it becomes uh, when you put it with the ta, the addressee, you say kunta, you wear. So kunta here, we say the ta is damir muttasil. Damir muttasil, fi mahal. Rafa ism kana. In the position of rafa of the ism of kana. Tamam? Mujtahidan, we say it's khabar of kana mansub. Khabar kana always mansub. And ism kana always marfur. Ism kana is like the mubtada. Khabar kana is like the khabar. So, what kana do, kana and its sisters do to the ism, it makes it marfur. Or it keeps it marfur, let's say. It keeps it marfur. But it makes the khabar instead of keeping the khabar marfu, it makes it what? Mansub. Tamam? Inna and its sisters here, it makes exactly the opposite. Inna hu karimun. Not inna hu kariman. Inna hu karimun. The ism is mansub and the khabar is marfu. Or you say, inna allaha ghafurun. See? Inna allaha ghafurun. Is that clear? Um, sometimes I'm giving a little bit extra because I, I know your level, you can you can yani understand that. But still, this lesson will cover it later. But let me give you a quick idea about uh, if you don't know it's Inna and its sisters. For example, we say Allahu Ghafurun. Allahu Ghafurun. What's the Arab? Allahu Ghafurun. Mubtada um, Marfu'a. When you say Allahu, okay, you start with it. This is an ism, you want to tell us something about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? So you said Allahu. Okay, what about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What do you want to tell us? You said Ghafurun. That's the khabar, that's the news, right? Allahu Ghafurun. Allah is forgiving, okay, or most forgiving. Allahu Ghafur. Okay. If we get inna, inna, or any of its sisters, inna anna ka anna laytan alla lakinna, what does inna do to the mubtada and the khabar? Tansubu al-isma wa tarfa'u al-khabar. It makes the ism mansub. So it becomes inna al- Inna allaha ghafur. Allaha ghafur. And it keeps the khabar marfur. Tamam? Surely Allah is forgiving. But Kana and its sisters, Kana, Asbaha, Kana, Asbaha, Valla, Sara, whatever. Later, like in the. What does, no, later, later, like in this sisters of Inna. Inna, oh yeah. Kana and its sisters, what do they do? They do the opposite. What do they do, Ya Sheikh Suhay? Kana. They make the um, ism marfu' and they, uh, they keep the ism marfu' Kana Allahu and what do they make to that? The khabar becomes, becomes mansub Kana Allahu ghafuran Clear? Yeah Yeah. So when so What does Kana Yakunu mean? Kana means was What about Yakunu? He is Is Yakunu is kun be. Okay. Okay. Be hardworking. Kun mujtahidan. Be forgiving. Kun musamihan, for example. So, uh, and sometimes, this is, they call it fa'al maad naqis. Incomplete maadi verb. But sometimes it is a full maadi verb. For example, especially when, when you talk about Allah, can Allah, it doesn't mean Allah was forgiving. It means Allah has always been forgiving. Tamam? Anyway, so this is, but for example, you say, Kana akhuka mujtahidan. Your brother was hardworking, for example. It means 
he's not anymore, for example. So that's why it's it's fal mad naqis. It it's not anymore. So this is bama'ir al rafa tawanina tawanina. This word combines for you bama'ir al rafa. They connect with the fa'il. They are in the position of fa'il or na'if fa'il when they connect to the in, to the fa'il, and they are in the position of what of ism kana and its sisters when they connect with kana and its sisters. So they will be ism kana marfu' ism kana marfu' imam. So they'll be in the position of rafa ism kana rafa ism kana. Okay, now. ضمائر ذات آر مشتركة بين الجر والنصب ضمائر that comes in the position of نصب and comes in the position of جر and then we have نا it could be in the position of نصب or رفع or جر what are the ضمائر that are or when when is the ضمير in the position of جر I already told you this yesterday last class when it follows a حرف جر Correct. If a pronoun connects to a harf, it will be in the position of jar, the harf al jar. But if a pronoun connects to an ism, it will be in the position of what? Jar, mudaf, ilay. Or jar, bil idafa. Okay? These are the two terms we use. These are the two terms we use. جر بحرف الجر عن جر بالإضافة. If the اسم if the pronoun connects to an to an to a حرف الجر ها حرف جر and we have a pronoun so the pronoun will be مجرور ها in in the position of جر ها جر by what جر because of what ب حرف الجر it became majroor B means by harf al jar, right? Because it connected with harf al jar. If the pronoun connects to an ism, then it will be jar mudaf ilayh. It will be in the position of jar. Jar what? Jar mudaf ilayhi. So jar because of what? Because of idafa. Jar by idafa. Jar by idafa. Clear? Another way. Just in case you read somewhere else, another way to say it: في محل جر اسم مجرور. And when the pronoun connects to an اسم, it will be جر what? جر مضاف إليه. تمام? In the position of جر مضاف إليه. جر of a مضاف إليه. جر of an اسم مجرور. جر by حرف الجر or جر by إضافة. Clear? This is clear. So, and we'll take the examples. We'll take the examples. What are those three pronouns that are, that could come in the position of jar and could come in the position of nasub? Nasub. Ya al mutakallim. Ya of the speaker. Ya of the speaker. يا المتكلم يا of the speaker كاف المخاطب كاف of the addressee ها الغائب ها of the غائب ها of the third person so it's very easy to to remember speaker addressee absent first person يا for the second person we use a كاف for the third person we use a ها تمام and for the speakers, we use na, get na from here. We put na separate because na could be in the position of rafa or nasab or jar. Tamam? Ya al mutakallim, ya al mutakallim, kaf al khitab ha al ghaib. What do they connect to? Ya al-mutakallim, if we start with Ya al-mutakallim. 
which is the E, right? And these are what, remember, in the position of Nasub or Jar. So we already mentioned when they are in the position of Jar. When are they in the position of Jar? Either in Qafa or... In Qafa or? Or in Jar. For example, let's say Ilayya. And here there will be some modifications. You have to learn them by heart, okay? For example, huh? let's take examples of harf al-jar. Ilayya. Ilayya is basically ila plus what? Yeah. Ya. So this ya is sakina usually, right? We say ni, bi, so here, ila and the ya, what happens? It becomes ilayya. Ila, ilayya, ilayya. So we say ila is harf jar, and the ya is the, is damir, muttasil, fi mahal, jar bi harf al jar. تمام؟ or جر اسم مجهول. إلي علي على plus يا. it becomes what علي. so what are حروف الجر that we learned? what are the basic حروف الجر that we learned? من إلى عن على كليبي وفي. right؟ من إلى عن على كليبي وفي. من Min, yalla, plus the ya. Minni. It becomes minni. Min, plus the ya, becomes minni. For example, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, minni. Minni. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, for example, Husaynu minni. وأنا من حسين. حسين is from me and I am from him. حسين مني. Now an ignorant person might say, ah, he's Shia. Ah, now I know he's Shia. Right? So the, this is a hadith that we have, right? In our books, in our hadith books. Okay, حسين مني. So مني جار مجرور. جار مجرور. So من إلى we got إلى عن عن بلس ديا how does it become عني عني خذوا عني the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said خذوا عني مناسككم خذوا عني مناسككم take from me your rituals the hajj rituals or the hajj rites the hajj rites عني من إلى عن على علي we got علي من إلى عن على كلبي the calf, it doesn't connect with the calf. Li, li, the lamb. Lamb plus the ya, what does it become? Li. Li. Hada li. Hada li. Kali, bi. The ba. The ba plus ya al mutakalim. Bi. Bi. For example, you say, Ghadara bi. He betrayed me. Ghadara. B, so B. I'm putting the ya without dots as in the Quran. In the Quran, the ya without dots when it comes at the end, even when it comes in the middle sometimes, like in shay. So, kali B, wafi, the wow, it doesn't connect with the ya. Fi, it connects. Fi plus the ya. Fi plus the ya. How does it become? Just like ila, fiya, fiya, okay, fiya. Subhanallah, I'm not having any examples that come. It slipped from my mind. For example, you say fiya khisalun sayya. 
I have some bad characteristics. Characteristics. Fia in me, right? Fia in me. So this is all the ya with the huruf al jar. Okay, these are almost all of them. So you have to learn them. And when you see them, you have to know ah ilayya, ah, it's ila plus ya. Alayya, ala plus ya. And their meanings. Ah, ilayya to me. Alayya on me. Minni from me. Anni about me. Li to me. Be in me. Okay. Or of me. Fiya in me. And some of them you need to know the context so that you know the exact meaning. Tamam. These are ya al mutakallim connecting to harf al jar. Huruf al jar. Now, kaf al mukhatab. Yalla, we can do the same thing. Kaf al mukhatab. Ka, right? Kaf al mukhatab means ka. Or ki. Right? Ki. For the female, <laughs> ka for the male, or ki for the female, right? Or kuma for the dual, or kum for the plural, masculine or mixed, or kunna for the female, plural, right? Right? So, and then the, 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 let's mention those, let's mention those so that you can know what I'm talking about. So let's take yalla. Again, huruf al-jar. What's the first letter? Min, right? Yalla, min. Put min with the with the calf of the addressee. Minka. Minka. Mm -hmm. Minka. Minki. Minka. Minka or minki. Now, now minkuma. This so minka minki minkuma minkum now minkuma it's still the calf and this meme and alif this meme and alif this is for the dual basically the meme is like they call it the support meme the supporting meme because it doesn't work minko minka okay so they put the support meme and they put then the alif of the dual. Okay. This mm -hmm. meme, they call it meme al imad, and this is alif alif name. So it's still it's the calf. It still is the calf. This meme and alif, you just can call it consider it sign of the dual. Min kuma. Same thing, min kum. It's again the calf. And this meme is the sign of the plural. And min kunna, same thing. It's the calf, still the calf. And the, this unna. This noon is not noon of the women, but it indicates the women. Okay? It's the sign for femininity. Oh, can I ask a question? Minka, minki, minkuma, minkum, minkunna. Clear? This is a clear? Yes. When we make a for these, min harjar, the calf is ism majrur. Min harjar, the calf is ism majrur. Meme and alif for the dual, meme for the plural, known for the women. Yeah. Um, you know when you know when you have dum, how come wow sometimes comes after it? So for them like but them to mu hu lana mu Padam Tum Padam Tum Mu Padam to Mu Hu. The fail is Padam Tum. So here we have قدمت موه لنا أنتم قدمت موه لنا قدم that's the ماضي قدم توم this two is the فاعل and this ميم is for the plural the, the sign of the plural right right so far قدم توم you offered it to us قدم توم the ta is the fa'il. The meme is for the plural. Qaddamtum mu. Hu. That wow. 
first if we take the ha qaddamtu mu hu the ha is maf'ul bihi as we will see now maf'ul bihi definitely maf'ul bihi now this u qaddamtum qaddamtum we don't say qaddamtum qaddam qaddamtum hu qaddamtum hu qaddam to is it we just say qaddam qaddam do you not say qaddam to muhu and that's the the the, the jama so this wow when we say qaddam to if you just say qaddam to itself the ta is the fa'il no doubt when you say qaddam to mu qaddam to mu hu the ha is the maf'ul bihi no doubt now here it appears it appears that we have what it appears that we have what ta al fa'il right ta al fa'il and what else and waw al jama'a which is also a fa'il right mm. yeah right right yeah yeah but, it, but it's not but we don't say but we don't say the ta is the fa'il we just say the waw al jama'a is the fa'il we say that's jama'a qaddamtum why so that so your question is is in its place as they say is a very important question that we did not take like the two pronouns together yet but let me see what the scholars mention about this because if we take qaddamtum by itself the ta is the fa'il but when we're putting them we're not going to say qaddamtum hu but if we say uh, if we take another verb ja'altum uh, hu okay akhadtum hu same thing with all af'al we do the same we're going to we're going to use the wow as well we're going to mm. use the so wow to make it easier to flow make it easier yeah it seems so okay antum okay qaddamtumuhu qaddamtumuhu fa'il mad والتاء فاعل والميم علامة الجمع والواو لإشباع ضمة الميم تمام والها مفعول به يا سلام لنا جار مجرور اوكي سو لسن وات هي سيد والواو لإشباع ضمة الميم والواو لإشباع ضمة الميم اوكي هير سو as I told you, we don't say قدم تم هو قدم تم تم هو It doesn't work. So just for fulfilling the dhamma of the meme, we add the wow. تمام? As you said, for the flow. For the flow. تمام? Okay. Any any other question? Okay, that was a good uh, question. بارك الله فيك. So we, do, we did min. Min ka min ki min kuma min kum min kunna. Min ila. Ila. How does it become? Here we're gonna add a ya. Ilaika. Ilaika, ilaiki, ilaikum, ilaikuma, ilaikunna. Min ila an, min ila an. Anka. Anka, anki, ankum, ankuma, ankunna. Min ila an ala. على عليك right عليك عليكما عليكم عليكنا من إلى عن على كاف with the cap doesn't connect to the cap لام لك لام plus the cap لك 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 لكما لكم لكنا من كلي ب Bika, the ba with the kaf. Bika, biki, bikuma, bikum, bikunna. Kali bi, wa fi, the wow, it doesn't connect with it. Fi, fika, fiki, fikuma, fikum, fikunna. Tamam? Would you be able to just... This is the kaf of the, kaf of the address C. Can we scroll up a little bit just to see the sentence I can copy? Yeah, that one. Put them to move. 
you just need the wow. Just the wow is for ishba' of the mean, fulfillment of the dhamma of the mean. Okay. What's left? So this is ya of the speaker. We had it with all of huruf al-jar. As you saw, there will be some modifications. It's not always the same. So you just need to learn them. Once you see those words, خلص, you know, jar majhur. Tamam? You need to learn them. And they're not, not difficult. If you, you're reading Arabic and you read the Quran, so you can catch them right away, inshallah. And we did with calf of the addressee. What's left? Ha of the third person. Yalla, let's take ha of the third person with all of the huruf al-jar or the basic huruf al-jar we're taking. Basically, these are huruf al-jar that connects with, yani. I don't remember anything else. Let's start. Min. Min with the ha. Min hu. Min hu. For the female, it will become min ha. Min ha. Min hu. Min ha. Min huma. Min hum. Min hunna. Min ila. Ilayhi. Ilayha. Ilayhuma. Ilayhima. Ilayhima. Not ilayhuma. Ilayhima. Ilayhim. Ilayhinna. Ilayhim. Min ila. An. Anhu. Anha. Anhuma. Anhum. Anhunna. Alayhi. Alayhi salam. Alayha salam. Alayhima salam. Alayhi. He. He. Huh? Hima salam. Alayhi. Himu salam. Can you say alayhum? Yeah, I'm coming to that. Alayhinna. <laughs> now, alayhi. Listen. Alayhi is originally alayhu. Right or no? Right? Because the pronoun is he or who? Who? Is who? So alayhu is the origin. And alayhum is the origin. In the Quran, in the Holy Quran, in Hafs narration, it's always alayhi. It's always alayhi, except in one ayah, alayhu. And that ayah is about a pledge with Allah. So when you say alayhu, the word Allah will be what? Light or heavy? Heavy. The, la the lamb in the, the word Allah will be heavy. So that makes the pledge like heavy, like confirmed. Alayhullah. That's just an analysis. Okay, we don't know the, re the exact reason. That's an analysis of, of some of the scholars. Alayhullah. وَمَنْ أَوْفَى بِمَا عَاهَدَ عَلَيْهُ اللَّهَ تمام؟ عَلَيْهِ اللَّهَ in, in, in other context or in other ayat. عَلَيْهِ اللَّهَ Okay? So that's one thing. عَلَيْهُمْ Hamza, one of the ten Qurra, he always say عَلَيْهُمْ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهُمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْبُوبِ عَلَيْهُمْ If I'm not mistaken, Imam Hamza. These are exceptions. Okay, not exceptions. For, for these are dialects, let's say, dialects. For example, in one of the Qiraat, عليهم is always عليهم. In Hafs, it's always عليهم. عليهم always. Clear? So that's about عليهم. على من إلى عن على أحرج كاف كاف ودها we don't. كلي لي له لها لهما لهم لهن. What's left? Dam bihi bihi biha bihuma bihima 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 bihim bihinna not bihuma huh bihima Harkat not appearing here. Let me use the other okay. Bihima, bihim. Okay, here's the harakat so that you know it well. Bihi. Kaplam bi. Wow, no wow. Fi, fihi. Fiha. 
فيهما في هي ما فيهما فاكهة ونخل ورمان فيهم الآن فيهن أوكي What's left? That's it. Kaplan Kalibi Wafi. Okay. So with this, we also learned how to connect the ha with all of the huruf al jar. If you notice, if you notice uh, with the ha min 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 hu min ha min hu. So the ha with min, okay, it's who. Ilay, ilay, he. The ya is the mother of the kasra. So when the ha comes with the ha, it will be maksura. Ilay, he. An, who. Like min, who. Alay, again, go to the kasra. Alay, he. La, la, not kasra, who. Bi, kasra, he. Fi, ya, he. So what do you conclude? When, what do you conclude before I write it? When? The ya before. When there is a ya before the ha, or there is a kasra, then the ha will be what? Excellent. Clear? Clear? Yeah. Okay. So this is for the ha. This is for the ha. And of course, this ha, by the way, this ha, min hu, this ha has some rules in tajweed, right? Has some rules in tajweed. If this is just a reminder, you already know this rule. This is called ha asila, right? Ha asila. Maddu ha asila. Silat al ha. Silat al ha. We silat al ha means you connect the ha to a wow, means you stretch the ha. When? So instead of saying who, you say who. When you do that. And instead of saying he, you say he. When do you do that? When there is haraka before the ha and haraka after the ha, what do you do? You stretch it. If there is haraka before the ha and haraka after the ha, you're going to stretch it. And if there is after the ha, if that haraka is on a hamza, if the haraka, if, if after the ha there is a hamza, mutaharrika, of course, then you're going to stretch it four or five harakat like munfasil. But if there is no hamza after the ha and before it haraka and after it haraka as well, then you're gonna do what? You're gonna stretch it to harakat only like mad tabi'i. And that's called mad sila sughra. And when there is a hamza afterwards, you're gonna stretch it four or five, and that's called mad sila kubra. So minhu, do we stretch minhu? No. Minhu. Ilayhi, do you stretch ilayhi? No. Anhu, we don't stretch. Anhu, alayhi, we don't stretch it. Alayhi, lahu, lahu, do we stretch lahu? Yeah, yep. I'm already stretching it. Huh? I'm not saying lahu, 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 lahu ma fi samawati. Unless there's a sukun afterward. Lahu al mulku, lahu al mulku. Lahu ma fi samawati. This is Tajweed rules and Arabic rules. This is how the Arab, Arabs speak, not only Tajweed. Bihi. Do we stretch it? I'm already stretching it. Bihi. He. Right? Bihi. If there is what? If there is a mutaharrik afterwards. Fihi. Do you stretch it? No. Why? Because there is sukun here. Only in one word in the whole Quran, وَيَخْلُدْ فِيهِ مُهَانَ Surah Al-Furqan. Imam? And we explained why, or the reasoning in the Tajweed class. فِيهِ 
right? Muhana. That's an exception. Any question on that? Okay. So we are done with with uh, all of the pronouns that connect with huruf al jar. All of the pronouns that connect with huruf al jar. These pronouns they connect to harf al jar. Then they are in the position of jar jar. It's a majrur or jar bi harf al jar. Now. What's the other possibility? They connect to an ism. They will also be in the position of jar, but this time jar mudaf ilayhi. Jar mudaf ilayhi. Kitabi, my book, the book of mine. Remember the word after of always majrur. So my book is like the book of mine, right? Kitabi, my book. Kitabuka. Your book, Kitabuki, Kitabukuma, Kitabukum, Kitabukuna, Kitabuhu, Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuhuna. So this is how you see these pronouns connecting to an SM. Always they'll be in the position of Jar Mudaf Ilay because the book of mine, the book of yours, the book of hers, the book of theirs. So it's the word after of. Tamam? So that will be always Mudaf Ilay. So this is. How these pronouns, when they connect to Haruf Jar and when they connect to an Ism. What's left? What's left? We said they could be in the position of Jar or Nasub. We learned when they're in the position of Jar, two cases. Now, when they're in the position of Nasub, when are they in the position of Nasub? When they're Maf'ul. When they're Maf'ul. When they are Maf'ul Bihi. When they are Maf'ul Bihi. And when are they Maf'ul Bihi? When are they maf'ul bihi or ism inna, huh? Inna ka, inna hu, inna ni, right? Inna ka, inna ni, inna hu, inna kuma, inna kum, inna kunna, inna ha, inna huma, inna hum, inna hunna, etc. Right? So connect inna and its sister. La kinna, la kinna hu, la kinna huma, la kinna hum. Laytahu, laytaha, laytahu, la'allahu, la'allah, etc. So you can connect just as we did with Huruf al Jar with Inna and its sisters. When those pronouns connect with Inna, they will be ism of Inna, mansub. And the khabar will be marfu' like Inna hu kareemun, Inna hu azimun, etc. Does it always have to follow? So does it have to be consecutive? What do you mean? Like, for example, Inna fi thalika la ayatil qawm yu'minun. Inna fi thalika. Fi is harf jar. So I assume it wouldn't be affected by inna. Inna. Inna fi thalika la ayatin. Let's say. Or let's say ayatun. Let's take the easy one. Ayatun. Inna fi thalika ayatun. Fi thalika. Fi thalika. Jar and majroor. Yeah. If you remember when we talked about Muftada and Khabar, we said, for example, Ala Tawilati Kitabun. On the table is a book. Ala Tawilati, we said, Jar Majroor. Are they themselves the Khabar? And 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 Ala Tawilati Kitabun. And Kitabun is the Mubtada? No. We said, if you remember, the Jar and Majroor, they are always Muta'alliqan, they're connected with, with the Khabar, with the Khabar. That, that is Mahdhuf. That is Mahdhuf. So, for example, Ala Tawilati Kitabun, Ala Tawilati Kitabun. كتاب على الطاولة تجار مجرور متعلقان بخبر مقدم محذوف تقديره موجود so it is كتاب كائن أو موجود على الطاولة remember that كائن is okay implied كائن أو كائن yeah implied so في ذلك في ذلك تجار مجرور آيات 
So inna fi dhalika la ayatin. Inna fi dhalika ayatin. Okay, let's say inna fi dhalika la ibratan. La ibratan. Let's take the easy one. Ayatin is it might confuse because majrur because it's jama muannaf. Let's say inna fi dhalika la ibratan li uli albab. Inna fi dhalika la ibratan. Take suppose it was fi dhalika ibratun mubtada khabar. We have inna. What will make to the ism? Inna ibratan kainatun fi dhalika. Becomes like that. So inna fi dhalika la ibratan. So ibratan is. يعني ibratan ism inna muakhar. We delayed ism inna like على الطاولة كتاب كتاب is the مبتدا but it's delayed مبتدا. Oh, so it's the مبتدا then. Delayed مبتدا. Okay. في ذلك جار المجرور. Right or no? Yeah, yeah. Now ibratan is ism of inna. Then, when we make a for fi ذلك, we say jar majru mutaalikan bi what? Khabar inna mahduf. Khabar inna mahduf. Tamam? Inna inna. Yeah. Ibratan ka ina ton fi ذلك. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is a little bit advanced. We did not like you don't have to know that from now because we did not study in and its sisters yet. But we studied uh, Jar and Majroor when that Jar and Majroor they come as a khabar, right? They are the khabar. Fi dhalika ibratan. Fi dhalika ibratan. But it's a little bit difficult because we did not study in. But original is في ذلك عبرة then إن came it made the اسم منصوب but it might confuse you the اسم is delayed a little bit and that's how it becomes sometimes it is delayed إن في ذلك and sometimes you have to delay it sometimes it's permissible to delay it etc so there are a little bit details so that جملة اسمية استوبر of course إن they say تدخل على الجملة الاسمية إن comes in to the جملة اسمية and it makes the اسم it makes the مبتدا منصوب and it makes the خبر it makes the خبر مرفوع تمام it makes the اسم منصوب and we call it اسم إن and it makes the خبر مرفوع look what he says for example here he says إن we call it حرف مشبه بالفعل في ذلك is خبر مقدم and عبرة اسم إن مؤخر so, في ذلك في سوفي Did you hear what he said? Yeah, so في ذلك as the خبر. Do you remember we mentioned this? Yeah. The scholars differed in that. What did we say? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes um, it can either be implied so akainun. We said we said some scholars they consider them them the jar and majrur themselves are the خبر, or they they say متعلقان بخبر محذوف. They're connected with a خبر that is, or they depend on a خبر that is implied. Okay. And that's what we learned in Syrian schools that we say متعلقان بخبر they're not the خبر themselves we say متعلقان بخبر right because and that's more correct I think why because when you say كتاب or على الطاولة كتاب on the table a book switch them كتاب is the مبتدا right كتاب على الطاولة. Now what are you telling me? Are you telling me what are you telling me about the book? كتاب is the مبتدا, right? كتاب. Okay. You said كتاب. I said what about it? You said على الطاولة. When you say look at the word على الطاولة on the table, the word on the table itself does it tell you something about the book? Yeah. No, no. But not necessarily. By not itself. necessarily, yeah, not necessarily, right? Not necessarily, right? No, but as a phrase, it's on the Yeah, book. as a phrase, it, it doesn't necessarily tell you, like, when you say, كتاب على الطاولة It's not like, like direct news about the book. So, 
that's why it's more correct to to consider the khabar to be implied which means for example here kitabun mawjudun ala tawila a book is present on the table or exists on the table tamam yeah because maybe it could be kitabun kana maybe kana it was on the table for example yeah when you say kitabun ala tawila or you say ala tawila kitabun ala tawila kitabun it might give you that meaning as well but when you make uh, consider it mutaalliq bi khabar mahdhuf it's more clear wallahu alam and that's how they taught us mutaalliq bi khabar we always say jar majru mutaalliqan bi something mutaalliqan bi something if there is a fa'il they have to be mutaalliqan with the fa'il of course okay like akaltu ala at-tawila for example i ate on the table for example or at the table katabtu ala at-tawila i wrote on the table So on the table here, it must be connected with katabtu, not khabar or anything. It, when it is connected with a fa'al, it has to be, when it comes with a fa'al, it has to be connected with a fa'al. Okay, so what's left here? These pronouns, when are they in the position of nasl? We said when they're ism, inna, and its sisters, they come as the ism of inna and sister, innahu, innaka, innakuma, inna, uh, etc. Innani, and an innana, We're going to talk about now separately. And they, when they are maf'ul bihi, when they are what? Maf'ul bihi. When are they in the position of maf'ul bihi? When are they in the position of maf'ul bihi? When they connect with the fa'al. When they connect with the fa'al. Tamam? Akramani. Akrimni. يكرمني يكرمني أكرمه يكرمه أكرمه These pronouns, as you've noticed, they connect to the فعل ماضي and مضارع and أمر and always they're in the position of what نصب مفعول به Right? Akrim ni. And also there'll be sometimes some modifications. For example, daya. Daya. If we say, if we say, Akrim plus daya, daya is sakina, and meme is sakina. So they don't work, akrim me, akrim me, it doesn't work. So they say, akrim me. So you have a noon there. Okay? This is, they call it, I think, noon al-wiqaya. Noon of protection. Maybe because it, to protect the meme from kasra. So in a sense, akrim me, akrim me. To make it easier to speak. A'ti ni. Okay? Now, ighfir. اغفر لي اعفو عني but there that's connected to حروف الجر but for فعل اكرمني اعطيني خذني ساعدني okay so with the verb you have to know how to use it uh, that's how we use it with the verbs we use noon of Noon. We use a noon with the ya. So that's with the with the uh, ya al mutakallim. The kaf akrama ka yukrimu ka. The ha akrim hu yukrimu hu akrama hu. Okay. So that's how how it connects. And now we'll start. We'll we'll stop a little bit. after these pronouns and try to take as many verbs and examples as we can because now learning these pronouns opens a huge door inshallah for you to understand so many words because almost in every line in the holy quran and in every, almost in every hadith you will see one of these pronouns connected to a verb or to an ism definitely or to a half so any questions so far finally na 
we said when it connects now we said mushtaraka bayna rafa wa nasab wal jar could be in the position of rafa or nasab wal jar when is it in the position of rafa when is it in the position of rafa when it's connected to a fair fa'al akalna okay akalna fa'al madi in particular when it's connected na to fa'al madi it's in position of rafa rafa fa'il or na'ib fa'il ukhidna ghulibna fa'il or na'ib fa'il we're going to learn na'ib fa'il later inshallah okay uh, when is it in the position of jar idafa or connected to if it's connected to an ism it's in the position of jar mudaf ilayh kitabuna saffuna baytuna dinuna when is it in the position of jar bi harf al jar ilayna alayna minna fina it's in the position of nasab when if it's maf'ul bihi akramana akrimna yukrimu na okay tamam in the position of nasab when it is maf'ul bihi whether connecting to fi'l mad or mudari or amr also, it's in the position of nasab when, when it is ism of inna, inna na, or inna. Sometimes that noon is dropped. Inna na or inna. Tamam? Both are used. Inna na amanna or inna amanna. That's in the position of nasab. Also, it could be in the position of Rafa, okay? Rafa, when Kana and his sisters, Kunna, Kunna Sadiqeen, Kunna Fa'ileen. When it's, it connects to Kana and its sisters, it will be in the position of what? Rafa Ism Kana. Huh? Right? Rafa Ism Kana. When it connects to Inna and its sister, it will be Nasub Ism Inna and its sisters. Tamam? Clear? Okay. Any question? Maf'ul bi Akram Na. أكرم نا فاعل أكل نا فاعل أكرم نا مفعول به إذا اتصل بفعل غير المذكور okay if it connects to a فعل so we say أكرم نا we said when it's فعل ماضي connects with فعل ماضي أكرم نا we honored them so that's فاعل well أكرم نا he honored us then it's in the position of maf'ul bihi. So it depends on the context. Okay, so with this, we finished all of the pronouns. All of the pronouns. Tawanina, they're always in the position of rafa. Tawanina, these are the rafa pronouns. But na could be nasab or rafa or jar. And uh, kihi, if you like to remember, kihi or yeah kihi these are the three pronouns that are sometimes in the position of nasab sometimes in the position of jar any question any question about anything we mentioned no subhanakallah wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik صلي لهم على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا الحمد لله رب العالمين. so إن شاء الله by now you should know any pronoun connected to any فعل or any اسم. I'm gonna send you another homework إن شاء الله and now we're gonna spend two or three classes just exercises and practices and applications in the Quran إن شاء الله. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. yes you have a question شيخ؟ oh no no 